Hey everybody, Erica Sarwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun pumpkin spice treat for you today featuring the Hello Harvest. Um, this bundle is fantastic. You've got this adorable stamped pumpkin, but we're not gonna use that today. We're gonna use these two weird looking dies to make that beautiful pumpkin. I've got two other projects on my blog featuring this stamp set with that pumpkin. So if you click the link here on YouTube, go back, you'll find there's a free PDF with the measurements for today's box as well as the uh, other two projects. Okay, well, let's get started. I didn't tell you what's inside. It's one of these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. I found these um, recently at Target. Um, I got the apple ones and they were delicious. So when I found these, I had to get them. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know, maybe a little bit healthier than some kind of candy. Um, and I love fig bars, so I adore these. They're delicious. You can get them at Target. I will link them on my blog as well. I think you can get them on Amazon as well. Okay, let's make our box first. We're using pumpkin pie, of course. And this is a six and a fourth by seven and a fourth inch piece. We're gonna score the long side at three fourths, three and a fourth, four and six and a half and then turn it and score the short side at three fourths and five and a half all right now make sure you have your bone folder the bone folder is going to make your lines nice and crisp so that your box looks nice and crisp and everything goes together easily Okay, now grab your scissors, which mine have disappeared, here we go. And this box is symmetrical, so you've got this three quarter inch side on either side. So it doesn't matter which end you start with, okay? I'm gonna cut all the score lines. And when I do, I'm gonna just take off a sliver of each of those little tabs. All right, so snip, starting at the outside edge, ending at that that score line, that horizontal score line. And this one doesn't look straight, so let's fix that. There we go. Now we'll do this one. All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. Snip, snip, snip. For some reason, I keep cutting this one crooked. Let's get that cut. There we go, goodness. Sometimes the paper likes to be stubborn. All right, now, here is what your piece looks like. We're gonna use Tombow, and I've got some clothespins. Hopefully I have enough. And we're gonna put this together. Clothespins are gonna help you hold your box closed. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on those two. Fold that in. And I'm going to use my clothespin to hold that closed. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Like that. You want to make sure that your sides are square. Okay. So look and make sure that your edges line up like that. All right. Now this one, we're going to adhere those inside of those edges. This is what I call a clamshell box. It kind of covers, it opens and then closes over itself. Kind of like a clamshell. All right, there we go. Now, <laughs> leave that for just a minute so that it can dry. We're gonna do our die cutting. We're gonna cut out um, all of these lovely little pieces. I also have a, a little heart that we're going to cut out. The heart is from the um, adorable Welcome Home Bundle. And uh, I'll be doing that. I'll be using that, featuring it on my blog in a couple of weeks. May I think maybe even next week. So make sure you come back, look and look for that, okay? Um, to get all of this on here, let's see if we can do that. Yep. All right, I have got pumpkin pie. And we're going to cut this out these two like that. 
I've got my little heart. We're going to do that from Early Espresso. And the stem, if my fingers can pick it up. Goodness. From Early Espresso. And then the little vine from Mossy Meadow. And we will lay this down. Run that through very carefully. These dies also emboss. They cut and they emboss. That's what those weird little lines on our um, pumpkins are. See these? Those are embossing. So if you look at this, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can see that it's added some texture to our pumpkin, which I think is so cool. It also did that to the stem. All right, let's see. I believe our heart is being stubborn. Let's get that out. There we go. And then we've got, oh, look, that one came out beautifully. This is our stem right here. I like to use my take your pick tools to just kind of get out those little things right there. Okay, I'm going to use dimensionals. Um, you can take pumpkin pie ink and a sponge dauber or your blending brush and add some color to your pumpkin if you want those um, embossed images to be more um, visible. I'm going to leave it like that because we're going to put a, a thing across there and I just don't think we need it. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of Tombow for our big old stem. You know, when I pick a pumpkin, when I'm shopping for a pumpkin, it has to have the perfect stem. Do you guys do that? It's gotta have a really cool, long, or chunky, or funky stem. So, you know, I'm pretty picky with my pumpkins. <laughs> I love pumpkins. I buy way too many every year. And then after, Thanksgiving, we feed the deer with our pumpkins. They love to eat pumpkins. All right, you're such a blessing. We're gonna stamp this on a stitched rectangle. I'm gonna do it over here on the right side. Well, that's not straight. That's why cardstock has two sides. Let's try that again. There we go. And we'll put, uh, we need a many dimensional for our heart, don't we? A little many dimensional, put that right there. Grab our heart, put that there. It's a tall, skinny heart, so it fits really well. And we're gonna put two dimensionals right across there. Put that right across there. Now, I have a few other pieces. We have a piece of Early Espresso and a piece of Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. We're gonna put that on there to mat that. And then I have, I've used craft paper. I love using craft paper for fall projects. It's nice and rustic. I think it's perfect. So I've cut another stitched rectangle from that. And I'll put that right there. Let's make sure it's centered, Erica. Luckily, dimensionals are easy to pop off if you need to. There we go. And hey, how about a few more dimensionals? <laughs> I love dimensionals almost as much as I love pumpkins. All right, that's gonna go right there in the middle. Okay, let's bring our box back. I think we are good to go. Let's put in our pumpkin spice fig bar and we're gonna fold this down over like that. See how it just folds right over? And then we're gonna put this on with some um, adhesive right there in the center. And there you have it. I think these are pretty easy. If you needed to make a bunch of these, wouldn't these make great teacher gifts around Thanksgiving? I think they would. All right, click the link here on YouTube to go back, get that free PDF, check out the other projects. And hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would, please. I'd appreciate it. You guys let me know if you have questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.